we have done is we have uh, created an Excel-based workflow. We call it easy workflow where you still start with your template that you might have. All right, so in this case, for example, I have this uh, Excel template that we as a designer has already designed and it has a number of steps, right? So someone is requesting, then it's automatically testing in SAP. If everything is all right, then it will move to the next one. If something is wrong, then it will go back to the requester. And at the end, it actually generates all the trace and reports, and then it can keep it inside, or it can actually attach it to SAP or another system. So it has request, testing, approval steps, right, post step, and then attachment step, right? And some of them are, three of them are automatic steps, as you can see from the gear icon, right? So that user is only doing one or two. And then approval step is based on a table, which means based on a value and a company code and some other parameter is going to route it to the different user, right? So I'm going to say, so as an end user, I say, hey, this is, and then you can see there's a lot of template like a cost center and vendor, but I'm going to focus on GL and say, let's start this, right? So I start with the blank template. It makes a copy of this template with the workflow, and then it also sends out, right, an email to the different people, right? Entire workflow system is designed and accessible in a, from Excel, right? You don't need anything but Excel. So here I'm on a very first step. You can see the side panel that tells user what to do. You can have a screenshot, user instructions. So even a no-wise person know exactly how to fill this in. And let's say that I'm creating some, uh, you know, error here, right? There's no validation here. And as you can see, I cannot post it. It has to go through the approval process, right, which I showed you. And it has a test. If I want, I want to test it. I can do the testing. But designer of the workflow, you know, where easy workflow is controlled that you cannot run it right now, right? So I say approve and then say, uh, this is urgent, right? So I just put that, my note, and put an approval, which means it's going to the next step. So I can see in my inbox all my work that I have done today, right? You will see that whatever I started uh, would be here, right? I think this is the, let's see. Maybe it's not my workflow. An email will be sent out, right, that this workflow has started. Uh, then automatic step, which is actually uh, actually the, uh, if it has error, you will see that because I had an error, it sends an email out to me that, hey, your step has failed. And if I go into the inbox, uh, I will see that entry right here. If I right click and say show me the status, you can see that it's here uh, and it actually rejected auto steps. Right? So if I open this item now, so the EV workflow system actually ran it and you can see the log. Right? Instead of any human uh, running it, the system ran and sent it back to the same guy and say, hey, there's a problem. I'm not going to proceed. This person now enters the correct data and then it should, right, again going to do the test run, what we call, right, auto test run. And I think we should be able to watch it. I'm an admin. I'm going to see what's going on, right, and I right click on it. So you will see that it rejected, it approved, it's again running and in process. And now it actually went to this user for approval, right. So if I come back to this user, and, and this user is out of office, it has out of office, so I'm actually substitute for every user right now in the system. And those users also get an email. Uh, let's say you have a phone and you're in the airport, you can actually open this Excel file. And if you want, you can simply approve it from email. Just type approve or approve, and you can write it in uh, Spanish or French or whatever language. Right? And then you just send an email out. So then Easy Workflow System will actually process this. And we, the user will also get an email that what happened. Right? So I'm checking it. See that approval carried out in the system. And if I go and refresh this and right click on it, you will see that the approval came via email as an email icon. Now it moved to the, the next person for actually posting in SAP. So now 
I'm opening as the person who's going to post it, right? So I have the option and instruction that I have to go and post it. I can click on this posting GL or I can go to here and then run it. So only I can and the last person in this chain is able to actually post this document, right? So now I'm posting this document just like what I showed you before, which was direct, you know, process runner, but now with the easy workflow. And then I can say, hey, show me this. And then it will bring this document. And right now, nothing is attached as you can see, right? But as we're going to go into this, what happens is that, uh, right, I put some note and I approve it. So what happens is that the workflow has few automatic steps and it will show us what it's doing as we run through it. Right, so it actually goes and then generates a PDF trace report. So this easy workflow system can capture who has approved, what time, etc., all the fingerprints of approval. And then it will also, after it does, it actually going to go and attach that trace as well as Excel file automatically to that document, right? So, and everyone gets an email as well. It moves right to this. Uh, let's see how far it has, right? This is a trace, trace report I was talking, so it emails everyone a trace report that, hey, this is what happened. All the comments that we entered, you know, is captured, who did what time, which computer, even IP address is captured, right? Uh, anything wrong, right? It's all is captured as an audit trail right here. And if you want, you know, if I go back to this document, I think we will see now that all of this is attached as well, right? So Excel file and a PDF trace is also attached by easy workflow. So you can actually run entire process in easy workflow with the process runner capability. And if you decide not to store all of this, you will have a permanent record of all this into easy workflow system. And the way was the architecture of this that user can start even with the send an email right from uh, you don't even need a plugin you send an email and the workflow is started and then workflow copy of that is stored in the database uh, and everyone has access to that right either from email or from plugin right and they work on it right? either via email or plugin and approve reject contribute some auto step, some SAP step, some non-SAP step, and then workflow finishes. Everything is stored in this easy workflow system in your backend, which is essentially a SQL database, right? And as a designer, you can go back to the cockpit of the workflow from the plugin, right? And you can design all the interface, right? You can see what's going on in a workflow. You have a users, uh, you have a group, you have your workflow definition, right? You have all of that right here, whatever we want to. You can go to one of them and change it or add. You know, each step you decide what can be done, what cannot be done, right? You decide the steps, right? You decide the email template, uh, what email is sent, how the email is going to look like, uh, what should email contain, whether the approval can be done via email. It's essentially click, click and then you get all of that, right? You can embed the data from Excel into email, attach entire Excel file. Essentially, entire end-to-end -end workflow system is accessible from Excel.